Hey guys, Jason with Wired Fish, and today I'm gonna teach you how to tie a half and half knot. This is a knot we got out of Japan. The uh, folks at Sunline actually sent us the how-to on it. And uh, we've been working on it for a month. I know guys have been waiting for the video, but we don't produce videos unless we're 100% sure that what we're doing works. And so we wanted to fish with it, tie it, quite figure out what all the idiosyncrasies are with the knot. But essentially this should be the first half and half knot video I've seen out there. So um, what you're gonna do, and obviously I'm showing you with rope in a old Lucas oil bottle, just so you can see it better on video. And I'll show you some pictures. I want, to, I want you to get a good feel for how to tie the knot. And that's easier to do with large line and a large object. So pretend this is your lure. This is our fishing line. You're gonna double the line up just like you would on a palomar knot. You're gonna pass it through the eyelet of the lure. Now what you're gonna do different, this loop needs to be big enough that it can go around the lure, okay? So there we go, we go around the lure pull it around, cinch it up to itself, and that, essentially that's what the start of your knot's gonna look like. You've basically got a doubled loop around itself here, okay? Now I tell people I like the tag in to be on my right when I'm tying the knot. I'm looking at the knot, I wanna see that loop towards me, I want my tag end on the right, okay? And this main line on the line. However you're looking at it on video and when you're looking at me, it's gonna be different, so I'm actually gonna, I'm actually gonna turn it around here, okay? That's just for your benefit. So when you're looking at the knot, the first thing I do, I wanna go over the main line with the tag in and back through for a half hitch. But see how I'm pulling this like a loop? That's so I can cinch it down on itself, okay? So the knot will slide down, I pull it tight. So I went over the, the main line with the tag in. Now this time I'm gonna go under the main line and through, same little loop deal, and it's gonna slide down what you get is this nice clean, you get two half hitches that are kind of looped inside of themselves in, with this third loop here going around the outside, just like you did over the eyelet of the lure. Okay, now we're gonna do that again. So for me, I'm gonna go over the main line and under, slide my half hitch down, then I'm gonna go, oops, then I'm gonna go under the main line and through, slide my half hitch down. I'm gonna do it a third time. So I'm gonna go over the main line and through, under the main line and through. So now I've done that six times and what I get is three double half hitches. And see how clean that knot is? You basically got three loops right here with half hitches in between them. See how it slid and jammed down on itself nice and tight? For rope, that's great. Now for fishing line, you need to close the knot off. And what you do, so I'm gonna turn it back here. Again, it's backwards. This was, this would normally be on my right when I'm looking at the knot, but I'm trying to show you on the video. So, so I'm gonna go like I'm doing a normal half hitch, right? Do this, but instead of cinching it down, I'm gonna go through there again. So I'm, I'm basically snaked around that half hitch twice. And then when I pull this down, it essentially is that same type of double half hitch that cinched down on itself, okay? That closes the knot out, makes it nice and snug, keeps the knot kind of from backing out. Now, as you can see, that's a pretty tall knot, but what we like about it is when I pull on that as hard as I can, pull on this as hard as I can, the knot's not cinching down on itself. It, you're, this line's going all the way down, and you're basically pulling on this part down here. You're not pulling on, these, these aren't cinching and digging into each other. And I'm pulling as hard as I can, and the, and the knot actually acts like it's coming forward, and that's because you're pulling this part so tight down here. That's what we like about it. You jerk and jab that knot, this isn't tightened enough at all. It's as tight as it was when I tied the knot. So, you know, it's important to get those half inches tight, get them, get them formed right, get them, you know, down together, you know, starting with it over the main line, then under the main line, then over the main line, then under the main line. That jams them together real nice if you do it in that order. Now it says to do it six or eight times. I did it six times here. You know, eight times your knot's gonna be that much bigger, okay? So I do it six times so far. I haven't had any problems. I like the knot. It's really strong. In their Sunline test, in that article we did, I mean, you could see it was one of the strongest breaking strengths of all the knots out there. So we're playing with it. We'll, uh, we'll let you know if we have any more developments with it, but that is the first video I've seen on how to tie a half, the, the half and half knot. Thanks for watching. Kevin, what are you doing here? 
Oh, I'm just filling in for Billy. I need a 660 Shad crankbaits in uh, the Series 5 model. We're out. You're not out. You got all kinds of them right there. We're out. Kevin, I need six. Have a lollipop. I do not want a lollipop. Have a lollipop. Do you have it in sexy shad color?